Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial and this is going to be about um, something that somebody suggested, um, uh, you know, a while back now. But I've been working through things people have asked and it was about changing my um, GUI sort of survival system to use um, images or PNGs instead of actually using um, the sort of bar system that I'd originally shown. Now this is going to be very, very similar. I'm going to keep the core script and obviously you can download that from my website. But from the core script, we're going to actually, you know, delete a few components, add a, f a few more, which are going to control, you know, when we see each actual PNG image, you know, depending on, you know, when your health's low, when you, you know, you need to eat, and you don't stuff like that, and it'll change it accordingly. So all I have in my scene, as normal, is my first press controller. I've got the GUI, my GUI survival script attached, but I've just renamed it for icons just for the sake of this tutorial. Now, I've got three of each sort of, um, what's it, G uh, GUI element really. It looks a bit funny on this actual side because I don't know, Unity's changed it when I changed it to a GUI option. But anyway, I've got, you know, like health is bad, health neutral, and health good for green, black, and red. And that's the same for hunger, and that's the same for thirst. So thirst is just a bottle, um, hunger is like a knife and fork. So you know when it's red, you know you need to eat. Um, black is neutral and um, green is good. So we'll get straight into it. So there what you can create, all you need to do is create, you know, three different of each image in Photoshop or whatever you want and then import those into Unity. Now I'll start off by showing you what I've done in the script now. I've added a couple of new variables um, which I didn't previously have in the actual um, script. And now that it's called thirst fall rate and hunger fall rate, and they've just been added to that um, the rate at which you um, lose your current thirst and current hunger. So instead of me putting a number there so you can divide it by a number, it's just going to be something so you can edit that within just the editor here so if you set the lower you know the number you set it to the quicker um, you know your thirst or your hunger will actually deplete obviously you can times it you can times it and then add a number to make it go quicker but it depends which way you want to do it now we'll get straight on to the topic in hand and this is doing the actual um, GUI elements um, now what I'll do is I'll start because we're going to start and need to write some actual variables. Now we're going to have, I'm just going to take this from a script that I did earlier so I don't have to type as much out because it's going to be a lot of copy and pasting that I'm going to need to do. And to keep this shorter, um, what I'll do is, is paste it in and I'll explain it. So we're going to create three variables called health good, health neutral, health bad, and they're all going to be set to as type texture. We're going to do the exact same thing, and then we're going to paste three more, so thirst good, thirst neutral, and thirst bad, all as texture. Um, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing again, but obviously you may have guessed that hunger good, uh, neutral, and bad. Now, we'll just I'll just put a little note and call these, you know, GUI textures, and then I'll add a little note here so you know what's going on with this one and add this to fall rate, fall rates, so you know what's going on there. Now, that's pretty simple, we've just added nine um, new textures that we're going to be able to add. Now, we're going to do something very, very similar, and what we're going to have is, we're going to call this GUI booleans, and this is just going to be true or false values for what we're going to set, so I'm just going to paste these in. So I've made nine private variables, um, three of them called GUI health good, GUI health normal, uh, neutral, GUI health bad, and similarly, like I did before, GUI thirst good, GUI thirst neutral, GUI thirst bad, all set to false at the beginning. Now that's pretty much the entirety of the booleans that we're going to add. Now what we're going to add is actually a new section to the code. So under here, we want to, you know, maybe leave a few spaces and then we can put new section just so everybody doesn't get confused with what's going on. 
then we're gonna um, do a few things and it's gonna be very similar to what we did with all those booleans that we set we're gonna have very a much a constant sort of rate of them but we'll say that if current health is less than or equal to 100 then we'll add two curly brackets in and we're gonna have to type in these um, boolean examples so so what we're going to do is that if the um, health is equal to or below 100 it's going to be equal to you know true so it's going to show the um, um, the the good PNG and that's what we want until it falls and to another rate so I've you know written this earlier and what I'll do is you know you'll do exactly the same or you'll be able to download this script from our website now if current health is below 50 then you won't see the good image anymore you will see the neutral image because obviously 50 is halfway so you know that's what it's going to show the neutral image now you may well be able to guess you know you can change all these values now if it's below or equal to 25 you'll notice that now bad is equal to true so we actually see we'll actually come to see the red image and the others are set to false so we don't see them anymore now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the third section so what I'll show you now is I've just pasted that in so I've you know I, we added a new comment saying the new first section so exactly the same as we did for health if it's ever below 100 uh, it's going to be good to thirst if it's below 50 we'll set neutral to true and then if it's less than 25 we'll set um, bad to true and everything else is false now again as you may have worked out I'm going to do the same thing but it's going to and from the hunger section you know as I said before if it's less than 100 then set to true all the way across just very simply just changing um, the values of each of the you know set uh, booleans at the top now from there everything is gonna um, that's pretty much the entirety of it but we need to actually add something to our GUI section to be able to display these um, actual icons so then we'll say if GUI health good is equal to true then we'll add two curly brackets underneath and say that gy dot draw texture open brackets rect open brackets again five comma thirty comma two twenty two point five comma thirty three point seven five close the brackets comma and then put health good and then add a semicolon now that you can see that health good is the texture and we're just referring to what we've set in the um, booleans so that's pretty much essentially what we're going to do for each of the cases so now if I paste these two in for my other script and what I'm saying that is that if health is ever equal to neutral or bad will change the textures accordingly and they all sit in the same place essentially and what I'll do is I will add another note to say that they're health icons and what we'll do is I will copy my previously written items in here and you'll see that the thirst icon so if gy thirst is ever equal to true we'll change the position slightly to lower i've just got these down here as reference because i could see that i set that to 30 55 and 80 and i'll mention that 22.5 and 33.75 is just there specifically for the fact that that's what size i wanted to scale my images so x and y of the images so the height and width and you know if any of these are set to true it'll change the um, options and then what I'll say is down here is the hunger icons and we'll paste those in and if any of those are equal to true it changes its position 5 across 80 down size of the image and then changes the actual image in itself now we'll save this out go back into unity and you'll notice that all of the texture slots have appear have appeared 
so now I'll need to change it so health bad health good health oops health good health neutral and obviously just match up and I'll stop this and you know so we can speed it up and when you've added all your um, elements in you'll notice that as long as you've got it attached to your first person controller you'll notice in my top corner I've got my icons and the um, first and hunger is counting down at the uh, the exact same rate and obviously because it is you know not below 50 yet or equal to 50 we've not changed any icons at all so you know we have to wait till we get to that specific value but with this I'll just speed this up in my script so we don't have to watch it um, you know going really slow so obviously if you times it by that um, these amounts so I'll add times in instead of dividing go back into unity and I'll put 5 and 5 and then play you'll notice that it counts down a lot faster so obviously you know we're above 50 now we, you know we're getting all the way down we're getting towards 50 and both of the icons change now you can obviously change it to make the items bigger you know position them differently now for below 25 you'll notice that obviously yeah they've gone to red and then your health starts going down and then you'll notice that the um, face changes as well but obviously you just need to check you've got all the elements so I'll quickly go through it you know that health good you've got all your textures health first neutral I mean health first and hunger and they've all got good neutral and bad all as one so very similar with the booleans you've got the private variables all set to GUI health thirst hunger good neutral and bad all set to false everything's the same except we'll have a new section that if your current health or your current thirst or your current hunger is ever below 100 you know you'll set the good one to true if it's below 50 we'll set the neutral to true and the rest false and then if it's below 25 we'll set the bad to true and the rest false and all we're doing in the GUI section is that if any of those actually equal true it'll display the image that we're looking for obviously you can delete this section down at the bottom but that's pretty much just for debugging so we can see what's going on and now I'll change this back to how it was before and then you must just remember in unity to add your images and you can change whatever rate you want stuff to fall down by but that's pretty much just covering the very basics the sheer simplicity of adding images and you know showing them in a sort of GUI sort of way so thanks very much for watching and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers